Hi, good morning to you all. Or is it good afternoon or is it good evening to you all? Wherever you are watching around the world. <clears throat> this is your host, your guy himself, DLG Repping. And I'm bringing you um, the latest um, football context. And um, what I've been reading in, in Friday's newspaper. This is um, based on the North London derby. And Nigel Winterburn's had his say. He has said that... Um, He'll be nervy if Spurs are top of the league after 30 league games. You know what? I can't say I can't echo that because I, I feel that. <clears throat> if they're there after 30 games, I'm going to be panicking inside. I'm going to try not to show it. But obviously, that's just a scenario. And let's just hope it's just a scenario because we'll never hear the end of it. And the likes of expressions... And Toby from another podcast, whatever he's doing, they will be unbearable. Complete unbearable. Uh, some of these players today, they need to understand what the North London Derby is all about. Now, that is definitely down to Arteta to get them into a meeting, sit them down and watch documentaries of um, what a North London Derby means to be to an Arsenal fan. To an Arsenal, to Arsenal Football Club, to the management and to the yes, the players, the, the players of yesteryear, should I say. Because we need these three points. And form goes out of the window, I know. And I also know Tottenham are favourites to win. I accept that. We're underdogs. Let's accept it. We've been shit. We're faulting for a reason because we're, we're shit. But on the day... You can't rule out what happens in football on the day. There's been too many shocks, left, right and centre, all over the last how many goddamn years. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, if you're listening so far, thank you for listening and watching, etc. Do um, leave your thoughts or your opinions in my comment section below about this fixture. And I'm going to read you... Um, <clears throat> what Nigel Winterburn has said here. And do remember to please help me subscribe to my channel and smash the thumbs up like button. Thank you. Right, I'm going to read here. The North London Derby is huge. Just about, just absolutely massive. Every summer... The first thing I look for when those fixtures come out is home and away against Spurs. I think a lot of us Arsenal fans do that. Well, I think a lot more of Arsenal fans should do that the way Tottenham have um, finished above us in the last four seasons. Every some Yeah, so I've read that. I just love playing in the game. In that game, you knew you couldn't afford to lose and you were told that by everybody. One set of supporters is going to have a terrible few days if their team loses, especially as you might have to wait another six months to put things right. Let's just hope today, if we're going to lose, we have to lose fighting and take some encouragement and positivity out of the game. If we lose 4-3, 5-4, there is positives to take, but there's negatives on the back four. Or the defence as a whole. But well, um, for me, we we're going to have to defend right. And you need two centre-halves to defend right. I don't know if I can trust Holding. He's in and out of um, form inconsistently. I don't know whether... I don't think I want to play Lewis at, in, in the back four. I've said it before. He can't be trusted in the back four. And it's been proven time and time again. Uh, I'm going to go with Salaba. He can play in the back four, he can play in the three. Just like Gabriel Magalhães. Them two are the future Arsenal partnership for the next five, six years. We need to get Salaba playing for the Arsenal. He is better than Lewis in the here and now. He's much better than Holding and Chambers. And I like Chambers. I think he's a very good defender, but I think Salaba can become a very exceptional defender. One of the best in the world. Or at least one of the best in Europe. If I'm not over-exaggerating the first time. <laughs> so let me read on. 
Of course, it's going to be a slightly different this time. But I remember that even if the Tottenham game was a week away, you could feel the atmosphere and tension. You'd be playing a match, but the focus is, was getting that out of the way so we could think about the derby. Thierry Henry will tell you he was very quickly left under and no illusions at all from the established players about how much it mattered. Now, Thierry Henry <coughs> himself, he should have done, they, they should have allowed him to do a Zoom call for ev each and every one of those Arsenal players who have little idea about how much it means to us to beat those scumbags in that in this particular derby. Now him, Vieira, Perez, Jumberg, and the the and most of the invincible players of the yesteryears, they need to do Zoom calls. They need to hear whatever they have to say and demand what is required of them to win a North London derby. Because I'll tell you something, there's losing, but if we get beaten with humiliation, ah, oh, fucking hell. What will make expressions unbearable will make me and millions of Arsenal fans fucking sick to the back teeth. And that can't happen. Mikel Arteta, you've got a you've got a big responsibility today. You as the manager. Yes, you didn't get your number 10, but the closest that we got to number 10 is William or Lacazette even. Use them two until you get one in January. That's if you can get one in January. But we have to make use of what we have. We know we're up against um, a better team. But never a bigger club than Arsenal. Yes, I know that. But let's, let's stick to the now. They're a better team. They've been better than us in the last four seasons. They finished above us. They've had the better players. Better management. But we can still beat them. We can still win more trophies than them. Because in the last five years, there's evidence that that has happened. For Arsenal. And it doesn't work for Tottenham. Having all those quality players don't guarantee, don't guarantee you success. I hope I've aimed that at the Tottenham fans. If you want to come into my um, comment section and um, have an argument, a footballing argument, as long as it's respectful, feel free to drop your comments. Um, feel free to drop your opinions and your thoughts in my comment section below. If you want, I say it to all football fans, man, woman, youth, child, ladies, gentlemen, boys, to the girls. Lee, smash the um, like, um, the thumbs up like button and um, feel free to help me subscribe to my channel. So big up my channel and keep it in growth. And I'm going to read some more. <coughs> you were representing Arsenal. The Arsenal, it was about tradition and standards. I hope, I hope you guys have, have that... Um, that um, seminar meeting, because it is about this fixture. Anyway, they let you know what it was about. And once you played in one, you definitely knew, even when the old guard moved on. Thierry and Patrick Vieira took over the, our, our role and said the same thing to the next players who arrived. Yes. There should be someone experienced to coach them about this particular fixture. And what it means to the football club as a whole. That is what I've been saying. These days, players are all very savvy on social media, sadly. If they don't know what this means, I suggest they start looking now and find out. Because God forbid if they lose, and if they lose, they will certainly find out very quickly. Yeah? Like last season, David Lewis must have found out very quickly how stupid he was for allowing Tierney to mark Alderweireld for the winning goal from the in-swinging corner. Right, I'm going to read on. When I joined there, when I joined, there were a lot of tight games, but then we started winning trophies and I know how much that hurt the Spurs fans. And I want it to long continue to hurt the Spurs fans. Three games stand 
out for me. I scored in my first away derby at White Hart Lane, the opener in a 3-2 win in 98-88. Tony Evans played me in on the corner of the box and I scored with the outside of my left foot. Paul Gascoigne scored for them despite losing his boots. <laughs> That's what it means to both sides. You know, you're going to have to be prepared to break your leg, lose your boots, even get injured to the course. Arsenal f- players, I hope you're listening. You know, we're talking about this on our podcasts here. The truth is, you need to win. You need to find a way of winning today. I don't care. I don't care if it's ugly. I don't care if the winning goal comes off um, whatever part of your body. We've got to be on it. And I'm going to read a little bit more here. Saying that, if they could win this game, it would be a massive boost. Back in the day, we had so much trust in each other. We were solid at the back and we knew even if we weren't playing well, Ian Wright or Alan Smith could get us a goal. And it was a 1-0 to the Arsenal. I'll tell you what, I could do with one of those. If it's 1-0 to the Arsenal, boy, we'll sing 1-0 to the Arsenal all week, rubbing it in the Tottenham fans' faces as... we. I would do, and as millions of Arsenal fans would do, of course. Forever more, our fan base will always be bigger than Tottenham's, never mind our history. For now, I am okay, but if they get to the 30 game mark and still sitting top, I'll be getting nervous. But I think the way Spurs are playing it at the moment, a draw would be a good result. Of course, if I was playing, I wouldn't accept that, but we will have to put in. Our best display of the season to get three points. He couldn't have summed that up any more clearer, Nigel Winterburn. This is a man who was drilled about North London derbies. This is a man who should be coming in to our training camp in a special meeting and talking to them about the North London derby, about what it means, how much is riding on it. It's not just about three points. It's about pride. It's about bragging rights. It's about everything to do with our football club. Right here. So, ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. um, (coughs) Any Arsenal fan, any of you who support Arsenal, if you want to... come up with a score prediction, then leave it in the comment section below. Um, I did say 3-0 to Tottenham in one of my um, podcasts. And I may, st- uh, by, by my head, I stand by that. But uh, I'll say Arsenal can sneak a win. We went to Old Trafford against the odds, sneaked a win and got away with it. We weren't great. We were okay. But overall, in that day, we were more or less the better side. And we got the three points we won. So, uh, <clears throat> we got the three points we deserved. So, and we won the game, of course, yeah. But this is a different game. Form goes out of the window. Tottenham go into this game second because Chelsea went tops. I'd rather Chelsea um, sit at the top all season than put, um, put up with um, those ones winning, um, bragging about winning the league. I'll tell you something. This team can be got at. Mourinho is not, I don't think he's the same manager. He'll get you top of the league for how long, but he won't, he won't win the league. He won't win the league. Liverpool will come stronger. They will put the wins together, ultimately. They're, they're still my tip to win the league. And then anyone after second, well, it's a battle, isn't it? <laughs> for us, if we win this game today, this should be. This should um, encourage us to have a start of winning um, games in, in the Premier League, so we can shoot high up that table as high as possible. It is open, but I don't expect us to win the league, even though we're eight points behind the leaders, which is crazy. Despite that, we've lost four games, drawn one. Look, yeah, did I, hang on, let me rephrase that. We've won four games, drawn one, and lost five. Scored ten, conceded um, a subtotal of what? 12 <clears throat> minus 2 
it's poor. It is poor. Our Europa League form obviously is better than our league form. And we need to put this right. And today of all days, how fitting would it be to put it right against those scumbags? Those absolute fucking filth. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, um, I'm going to wrap this up and say thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and thank you for tuning in. I'll be back um, later on this afternoon with another um, context. And um, I hope Arsenal fans, I hope you can enjoy the, the game the best you can, even if, if you, even if you feel like you're going to be a neutral. Enjoy the best. Let's enjoy the game. And we still got to get behind the team, regardless of what team or formation Arteta picks and the, sub, the seven substitutions he picks. We've got to get behind him, you know. I don't want to see us sack another manager, personally. Because if we do, we may struggle to get a, a, an, an experienced manager. We're talking, some talk of Pochettino, I've heard, what about um, Nuno Espirito Santo? Um... If you want to get back on me on, on the Nuno Espirito Santo, you know what you have to do. Leave your thoughts and your view, your opinions in my comment section below. Pochettino or Nuno Espirito Santo would be the ideal management for me. Someone, well, two individuals who are experienced for me to play classy football and defensively well organised. And they kind of get the balance right. Where Arteta's still learning how to get the balance right between good defending and good attacking in once. And that's what happens when you employ a rookie manager who's never managed in his life. But he hasn't done too bad of a job overall. It could be worse. His record could be worse. But I will be prepared to give him time. I respect him. I do not want him... I want him to succeed... I want him to prove the doubt was wrong. And um, I hope he releases the handbrake. We've got to go for it. It's as simple as. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I should have been gone two minutes ago. <laughs> so remember, your thoughts and your opinions on um, what Winterburn's been saying in Friday's um, newspaper, the Friday Sun. I don't know who wrote this all up, but I'll tell you what is a good story. I think Mark Irwin had something to do with it. Anyway, I'm out of here. Smash the thumbs up like button and please help me to, yeah, please please help me by subscribing to my channel by smashing that subscribe button left, right and centre galore passionately and abundantly. Let's get more than um, 60. Let's, let's um, yeah. Let's see if I can get more than 66 subscribers and um, I'll definitely look forward to doing another football context for you. See you later. Be good. Bless. Oops. Nice. Be nice.